Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're gonna look at how to send um, or how to create uh, an email verification program in order to check if the uh, email ID which your client submitted is is you know valid or not. So in order to do this, uh, you have some prerequisites. You have to have some knowledge of PHP, MySQL, and you know JavaScript, a bit of JavaScript, and some HTML, obviously. So uh, and CSS if it's optional if you want to know it or not. So uh, let's um, see what we're gonna make over here. So we're gonna make this type of box in which you're gonna type your email ID and you're gonna click on register now. And what this will do is it will send an email to your inbox with um, your email ID and a random verification code which you have to feed into your URL in order to go to that other link which is gonna verify your email ID which is you know here the confirmation.php and why is this useful so let's take an example so if you are a person who is providing some kind of a service online and uh, you know you need the user of that service to register and you need to save their email IDs but um, and I mean there is no use in saving email IDs if they are fake right I mean you have to verify if they're actually email IDs of the client who has registered and if, if they are not they're practically useless so in order to do that, what we do is we have this technique in which we send a, or, or you know we create a, a random hash code along with the email ID and we send it to the user in the mail ID in the mailbox of the user in the inbox of the user and tell him to go to that link and then once he goes to that link through the uh, through through his account he actually uh, himself verifies his email ID. So that's kind of a trick to you know to verify the email ID. So how do we actually pull this off? So uh, what happens is let, let let me go through the local host and show you exactly what's happening. So if you go to local host, and I'm using PHP my admin don't uh, fret. And in, in this I have a database called test. And in here I'm going to use for this project we're going to use like uh, two tables. One is the email table and one is the confirmation table. So in the email table we're going to store all the emails which are verified. And the confirmation table we're gonna store the emails which are not verified and are they pending to be verified if you know for lack of a better term so so how does this actually happen so when you when you run this index.php or, or this over here and I type some um, you know some email ID so I say lip at uh, uh, shameless.com so so.com and I'm like register now so it, it, it tells me that this thing is actually working, although there's a warning, I'll tell you what that is later. But if I go in here and I go to confirmation table, okay, we have we have two, you know, uh, entries over here. So this is the confirmation code for that, you know, uh, for that email ID, and here's the email ID. So this is in the confirmation table right now, and in the email table, there's nothing, it's completely empty, or there's one email ID which I verified initially before making this tutorial. So. So how do I actually go about, you know, verifying this? So, so this link over here in the code, you have this link in which you are saying that, you know, when you send an email, you like go to this link and you, you put the random code at the end. So let's just try doing this and see what happens. No, don't worry. Uh, you, this, this is not a tutorial. I'm just explaining what I'm, what I'm going to teach in this, you know, in this example. So I put this over here and in place of the random code, I put this code over here say lib.sl so control c and you know control v and i say enter and yes my account has been activated and uh, if i come over here if i go back and i come to the email table yeah lib.sl has been verified and like yeah that's the I, that's actually how this entire program is going to work and if you don't understand uh, watch this again and i'm sure you will because it's pretty simple like every website you go to every website you have to register to actually does this with your email id maybe the techniques are different maybe the security is different and, and don't actually use this program because it's kind of you know not very secure so i'm going to stop over here and in the next tutorial we're going to see the code to do this actual thing you know to do this whole thing so thanks for watching guys see you later peace